Can we get this rig rolling? In ready, set, go. Now, you can't expect me to come on set of Letterkenny and not make a stop at the wardrobe truck. Bring on the plaid. This is the closet. <laughs> I have never seen so much plaid. How would you describe the Hicks fashion in Letterkenny in three words? Mark's work warehouse. Plaid denim steel toe. I think overall we have about a hundred different plaid shirts for Wayne. So a little dairy. He's got a lot of different short sleeve plaid shirts that he wears when he goes out. And then of course we have the staple. We have his coveralls. Yes. The dairy coveralls. Nice. <laughs> Do you ever wear sleeves? What What are those? I'm not familiar with the term. There's a lot of tank tops. Yeah, oh yeah. It gets a little bit darker in this corner. <laughs> Which, <laughs> between you and me, I really like. Yeah, oh, I'm like, these are my colors. <laughs> we have, obviously, the classic skid look, which is the overalls, of course, and then we have the tank tops for them, but we also have kind of more of a slick, kind of city kid look. Can you please dress me? We can absolutely dress you. We can make you look right from Letterkenny. Yes! As I channel my inner Letterkenny, bring on the tiny tanks, crop tops, and short shorts. Dun -da -da -da! Is it just me or do I look like Katie Cat's cousin, Chloe Cat? I think it's time someone puts me on the show. Excuse me, I need a line. Patter, let's get at her. We're on set of Letter Kenny. We are in the world of Letter Kenny right now. We're here. And I'm with the king of Letter Kenny himself. No way. For those that are new to the world of Letter Kenny, break it down for me. Who are the folks that live here? Hicks, skids, hockey players, Christians trying to coexist, add in beer, smokes, and fights, and that's yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Roll sound. Rolling. Rolling. Cutting. Waiting on a chopper. Simple storylines, and yet there's such quick and witty writing to this. I mean, it's so fast paced. The puck is constantly being thrown from one character to the other. These two just opens up a crepe shop with these. We call it Planet of the Crepes. Crepe Canaveral. Do the carpets match the crepes? I don't know about that one. What's the biggest challenge of writing scripts like that? The writing is the easy part because then we come to set and we've got to say all these things to each other without laughing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's when it gets really difficult, I'd say. So if Howard Stern's internet radio is better than terrestrial radio, would Stern's then be extraterrestrial? <laughs> <laughs> extraterrestrial. <laughs> Favorite episode to date? Uh, uh, second episode for a season, a super soft birthday. Beautiful. It's like such the perfect letter Kenny episode. Not too concept heavy, just like fun. Well, they do go all out, don't they? It's a Texas size 10 4. I think my most favorite episode would be season one, episode two, Daryl's super soft birthday party, because <laughs> that really encapsulates everything that we're trying to do at the show. And uh, whenever I might get uh, the, the identity kind of muddled a little bit, I'll go back and watch that episode and see everything that we did there. And that's kind of the template for Letterkenny, that episode. That's the toughest guy in Letterkenny. Favorite guest star to be on Letterkenny so far? Uh, my old buddy Jay Baruchel. Jay Baruchel, man, he's, a, he's 10 out of 10, beauty. Oh, good Christ, it smells like somebody's been smoking gateways in here. Who would you like to see be a guest star on the show? Do we need to get some more hockey players? Beauties and beasts. The Brothers Bay. James and Hudson Bay, hockey players all the way. We got our dream guest star in Jonathan Torrance. He's coming on this season, and, and he's he's my guy. I, I, I can't wait to work with him. How excited are you? Yeah, I'm super excited. This is your moment. It. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That looks like Noah Dick. And Anita Dick. Who would you like to come down to Letterkenny? I don't know why, but I just thought I was like Keanu Reeves. Yes! Anyway, I would love to have Keanu Reeves on the show. If that happens, I want a knee talk exclusive. Okay. Jake on it? All right. Keanu. Not, my, not my call. <laughs> I don't get to make that decision. But yeah, you have my word. Yay! To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. What can fans look forward to this season? Last year, um, I wrangled a French girl around away from her fiance, and so she is now my sweetie. The biggest kind of change that I um, think fans will be like, ooh, is the skid group. Tyler, his character Stuart, has a different look. They take 
a move to the city to pursue some kind of dark career aspirations right. and things get really weird. How do you think fans are going to react with all these changes? Well, I've been getting some tweets and, uh, you know, uh, Instagram posts, people asking what Stewart's going to look like, and I think they'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. What is it about this show that works for both Canadians, Americans, and pretty much everyone in the world? I think everybody knows somebody from Letterkenny. That small town mentality, those values that, that, that we kind of uh, preach on this show. A lot of people gravitate to Wayne's code of honor and his sense of morality. Beer? Please and thank you. What's one thing you've learned about small town Canadians from doing Letterkenny? The work what? ethic, everybody knows about it. The yes. toughness, everybody knows about it. Small town Canadians, they hate mufflers. They're always willing to talk. There's a lot of talking. LOL. Well, that means lots of love. No, it doesn't. LOL means laughing out loud. The uh, thirst, you know, the appetite for liquor and booze. Now that we know the world and who's in it, it's time to take a little spin around the set. Yo! Oh. Hey, hey guys. Hey. This is our crew. We're just uh, doing some oh. decorating in here. Weird. The Rolling Stones believes Letter Kenny to be one of the uh, funnier shows. Funny shows ever made, actually. I believe is the actual quote verbatim. Please tell me you put in the work this year. We always put in the work. I don't want to let you down or the boys. So this is uh, yeah. where we do our hanging this out. Where we hang, uh, chilling, learn lines, hug each other when we're really sad, nap if we have to, high five when we're really happy, yeah. our knuckles. All right, boys. Well, uh, enough of the inside of the trailer. What do you guys say? Check out the uh, the wicked cool new gym we got set up here. Yeah, we uh, we like to rip as many reps as we can on this set. Keeps the keeps the swole on. A lot of uh, actor uh, housing here as well. A lot of trailers for the actors. Um, so they're, they're in those trailers when they're not on set or in the gym. So this is uh, where we uh, get our swole on. Get our jack on. We need kettlebells or uh, dumbbells or on the treadmill at the same time. Yeah. Basically, you just want to you want to stay swole. Pretty much can't be not swole, otherwise we'll get fired. So are the grips as swole as you guys? No. Come on. No one's swole as no, us. No one's as swole as us. Let's be real. We're definitely the most, the most <laughs> slow. That's for sure. And letter can. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna take you guys over to where the Sandos are prepared, where the meal prep happens. Appies, Sandos, and lots of coffee. Lots of coffee. All right, you guys. So uh, this is where the snacks are made. Hidden snacks. Under here we got the cheese, oh, yeah. pickles, veg, I love hummus. Pickles, so. Gotta stay hydrated on these sets. Gotta you know? stay hydrated. Coffee, teas. You got your sure. fridge here. You got this beautiful man here. This is where uh, everybody eats, literally. Okay, let's do stand this. Stand by for finals, please. Stand, stand by for finals. They were rolling, so normally when they say rolling, action, uh, no one's talking on set. Everyone has to be at least hush, like very hush hush. All right, let's lock it up. Locked up. See, see that sound right there? We're rolling. We're rolling, rolling. rolling. That's Jeff. He hurt his foot on a hike, so he's walking with a cane, but he's gonna be okay soon. But he clearly loves the cane. This is the uh, the legendary red barn of Letterkenny. It's a working farm. Yeah. yeah, so it uh, brings a real sense of authenticity to the to the boys' fur. It's not a perfect day for heavy <laughs> denim overalls. <laughs> All right, you guys, where wonderful uh, hair, makeup, wardrobe people hang out. Without these beautiful people, we don't get a show because uh, we can't dress ourselves or do our own makeup. And uh, I've never once washed my own hair, so we're on set right here. This is uh, some of the grips and gaffers who. Uh, are in charge of the lighting and the dollies, so everything looks visually good. You have fun with it. Yeah. Frida. Frida. Thanks uh, for joining thank us. Thank you. And uh, I guess the MTV Cribs says, says get, get, a, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't feel, I'm so Canadian, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys can stay if you want. No, get out. When it comes to a hit show, it's all about location, location, location.
filmed on the outskirts of Sudbury, the Hicks set is on a working farm, and it's Jared's favorite place to be. I really like shooting on the farm in the produce stand. That's that's cozy, that's home. So I'm in love with the world of Letterkenny. Okay. I mean, I feel like I'm in it here in Sudbury. All the different set locations. I mean, there's hay behind us. I've seen tractors. The produce stand is like right over there. We've been here now for three years. Everybody's nice and it's fun and it does have a small town vibe, but it's got some big city amenities. It's awesome. Everybody's great. It's a beautiful city. We're getting to know the place, right? We have our favorite restaurants, we have our favorite bars, and, and we're recently renting some houses now, so we're not living the hotel life, yeah. which gets a little, you know, tiresome after a while. The city has embraced us fully. You know, we go out and people want to buy us drinks and take pictures with us, and I just say, take a picture with us a little earlier in the evening, please, because <laughs> towards the end, the pictures might not be as uh, flattering. I don't know about you, but I am loving the smell in here. It's really good. This is fresh air. City kids don't get fresh air like this. What's your favorite part about shooting here? Being with the boys. It's really fun. We live in a house together and we just hang out, sit by the water and, and you know, drink beer and read scripts. And it's just like really lovely. A lot more people yell, stir it, stir it. We call it summer camp. We come up here and we're just gonna go see our old friends and hang out and we have a ton of fun. I think I speak for most of the cast and I say we didn't picture ourselves uh, falling in love with it like we did. We all can't wait to get back. It's good. Where do you guys like to hang out when you're in town? Pepe Panini. Yeah, we go there for lunch quite a bit. Yeah, I hear they have a really great sandwich that you even had a hand in. Burton called me up one day and, and said, I want to base a sandwich off of Letterkenny. What should I put on it? And I said, well, this, that, and the other thing. And <laughs> Bob's your uncle. When Jared Kiso suggests a local sando shop in town, you give her a try. All right, I am starving, and Jared Kiso eats here, so I got to check it out. Pitter patter a Jared creation. All that's left to do is get at her. Mmm, Jared, you did good. From Sandoz to Brewskis, Letterkenny is everywhere right now. How did you guys come up with the beer? We decided we'd go the Simpsons route and, and create our own beer, and then we could do whatever we want with it, but we always did kind of have it in the back of our minds that we'd like to get it on, on shelves and stores, so I'm glad we've been able to finally accomplish that. What's the name of it, and what does it taste like? Poppers. It's a premium light lager. That's what it says on the can. <laughs> it goes down real easy. A great beer, and, and we're selling a whole bunch. How's your beers? I have a beer. I decided to find out for myself what all the hype was about, so it's off to Stack Brewery to give Puppers a swirl. All right, let's try this Puppers out. Oh, cast approved and Chloe Cat approved. Cheers. There's a place in Sudbury where Stomping Tom wrote Sudbury Saturday Night. Probably Townhouse. It's got to be Townhouse. Am I right? You are right. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> in Sudbury, they play bingo, but for something other than money. Porchetta bingo. Smoked meat. Is that what it is? Pound of meat. That's no. Really it's like they shot in the dark. And it was was that a shot in the dark? Yeah. Porchetta bingo. That is a real thing. And Old Sudbury women will cut you. Do not mess around <laughs> at Porchetta Bingo. What's the famous Sudbury landmark here called? Big Nickel. The Big, big Nickel. Big nickel. <laughs> have you seen it? Well, we've driven by it. There's no I way you've been here for four Dude, years. Dude, have you seen the Big Nickel? 100%. The biggest nickel ever. You, you I know, <laughs> so if I knew, I would know if I've seen it, and I have not <laughs> seen the Big Nickel. Now I'm questioning if I've seen the Big Nickel, if I've just uh, uh, imagined it, like. What is happening here? He shoots his cup. He shoots his cup. And finally, I can't leave here without learning how to talk the talk. Yanks think we got a weird way of saying about. Yeah, what's that's all about? They make fun of us for saying about. No, oh, I'm pretty sure Yanks make fun of us for saying a boot. What's one letter Kenny slang I should bring back to Toronto with me? Pitter patter, let's get at her. It's my favorite thing to say. Okay. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Nice. Ask what a back bush is. Well, that's a back bush right there. That's oh, a... like like Mother Earth. No, it's like literally bushes in the back there. You see them? That, those bushes right there. You get lost in the back bush, you hoop. Figure it out. Honey dick? Oh, I'm gonna go out and drink with the boys. I'm gonna get honey dick tonight. Well, I say if something goes well, you can say it's wondrous. You are wondrous. Thank you. This has been a wondrous interview. Wondrous indeed. I find my inner Chloe cat, eat like a local, quench my thirst, and even see the big nickel. Most of all, I get right at home on the farm. But what have we learned through all of this, Miss Katie? Different strokes for different folks, I think. I think you just nailed it. Thanks for the small town hospitality letter, Kenny. I've got to get back to the city, but I will definitely be back.
one more throw. Oh, I love this place. I don't actually want to leave.